Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing the graph of logarithmic functions. So in order for us to understand the graph of logarithmic functions, let us first discuss its characteristics or the characteristics of the graph of logarithmic function. The first one is the x-intercept is 1. There is no y-intercept. Second, the y-axis is the vertical asymptote. When we say asymptote, the y, the vertical, or the y-axis, that means our graph do not touch the y-axis. It just go closer and closer to y-axis, but they will never meet. If b is greater than 1, the function is increasing. And if b is less than 0, but greater than 1, uh, but less than 1, the function is decreasing. Number 4, the graph is smooth and continuous. It has no sharp corners or gaps. To better understand, let's have this example. Show the graph of f of x is equal to log x base 3. First, let us write into exponential form. So, f of x that is equal to y is equal to log x base 3. So, in exponential, our base is 3 raised to y is equal to x. Okay, 3 raised to y is equal to x. Or, commutative property, x is equal to 3 raised to y. Now, the graph of logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function. So this is our exponential form. We're going to get its inverse. So to get the inverse, interchange x and y. If you want to review the process in getting the inverse, go to our playlist and find the inverse function. So interchange, so x will become y, then our y will become x. So this will be our basis. Okay. Now, let's find our table of values. So y is equal to 3 raised to x. So we're going to assign the value for x to get our y. So, y is equal to 3 raised to, let's try 3 raised to x, y 3 raised to x, let's find 5 different numbers. Okay, we're going to set the value for our x. So let's say our values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and positive 2. So we're going to set negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Let us substitute. If x is negative 2, so if x is negative 2, this will become 3 raised to negative 2. Negative exponent, that will become 1 over 3 squared. That is 1 over 9. So this is 1 over 9. Next, if x is negative 1, 3 raised to negative 1, that is 1 over 3 raised to 1, that is 1 third. So this is 1 third. 3, if x is 0, that will become 3 raised to 0, that is 1. That is 1. 3 raised to 1, if x is 1, that is 3. And 3, if x is 2, 
3 times 3, this is 9. So this will be our table of values. We're going to get the inverse of this one. So the inverse is, so this interchange. So our x values will become our y. So this will become negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Yes, interchange. Then 1 over 9, 1 third, 1, 3, and 9. So after interchanging, we're going to plot our table of values. So where is 1 over 9? 1 over 9 is on the x-axis, 1 over 9. So, 1 over 9, where is 1 over 9? So, so this is our 1 half. 1 half. Next. 1 over 9. So, 1 over 9, 1 third. This is what, 1 half. 0.5, then one third. This is our one third. Okay. Then oh, one third is smaller than one half, so this will be one third. So one over nine is here. Let's say here, then going to negative two, negative two. Before zero, one over nine is before zero. Next, one third negative one. One third negative one. Next, one zero, one zero. Three one. So three going to one. And then nine two. So let's say our nine is here. And then that's done. So we're going to connect our points. This will be our graph. So it will go closer and closer to our y-axis, but they will never touch each other. Because our vertical line is our vertical asymptote. Okay, this will be the graph of f of x is equal to log x base 3. Okay. It will go closer and closer to our y-axis. So that is the graph of logarithmic function. See the relationship? You need to master first the inverse function, exponential function, to better understand our logarithmic function. If you did not focus in our inverse function, then you will find this topic very difficult. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.